So hi, this is Julian at Power for UK. I just wanted to show you today our new 3D printing machine in action. It's a Projet 3510. It's a, an industrial grade printer. I've got a part running on the machine currently. This is a part that we scanned a few days ago that we're looking to reverse engineer. So we created an SDL mesh file from the part. We've sent it through to the printer. And if I zoom in, you should be able to see the printer working. So what's happening is the printer bed is moving fore and aft underneath the printer head. The printer head is using two types of material. A support material, which supports the part as it's being built, and then a second polymer material, which is the build material. The light that you can see flashing in there is a UV light which helps cure the material. This particular part has been running now for about 17 hours and it's almost at the end of its cycle. Once the part's finished we'll remove the part from the printer, put the part into an oven set at 70 degrees Celsius and that will basically melt the support material away from the build material leaving us with the finished part. We can then take that finished part and measure it for dimensional accuracy and check all the features on the final finish. If we're happy, we can then send the mesh file out to suppliers for quotation with a view of getting it manufactured. Right, so this is the uh, part that we got off of our 3D printer. Um, it's uh, made from a, a crystal type polymer. Um, it's basically it's come off the printer, we've uh, mounted off the support material, it's given a pretty good finish. Um, and then what we've done is we've, uh, we've put it into the gear lever um, mechanism here, just to check the, uh, the overall size. And if I put that in there, push that down, and you can see there, we've got a part that fits well, looks pretty good. So we've now got confidence in sending the, the data to a supplier um, to start getting some quotes in about getting it manufactured, um, probably in a, a cast aluminium or, or, or zinc type material. So there we go. So thanks for watching.